Stages of Development of Atherosclerosis. Stage 1 begins when LDL particles migrate into the endothelium of the blood vessel um, in an area of low shear stress. Low shear stress is indicated in the green areas of the branch points of the blood vessel. High shear stress is indicated in the red straight points of the blood vessel. HDL particles also enter into the endothelium of the blood vessel, but they can exit and using reverse cholesterol transport, they may take some of the triglyceride from the LDLs. LDL particles enter the endothelium through penocytosis of the endothelial cells and through tight junction spaces when the endothelial cells are proliferating. The LDL particles have bound with the connective tissue and they become oxidized and then send signals to the endothelial cells which release adhesion molecules to call in monocytes to move into the intima of the blood vessel. The monocytes, once inside the intima of the blood vessel, differentiate into macrophages. They then endocytose the oxidized LDL particles to become foam cells. After the macrophages become foam cells, they migrate to the basement membrane. Stage 2 of the conversion of a fatty streak to an atheroma is the transition stage. This stage begins as the macrophages, which have now become foam cells, migrate to the intima from the tunica media. They sit under the basement membrane. The foam cells become necrotic and die and the smooth muscle cells of the blood vessel migrate to the endothelium to form a fibrous cap to contain the inflammation. This is the beginning of the formation of the necrotic core. The first layer of smooth muscle cells that migrated to the basement membrane die and contribute to the formation of the necrotic core. Additional smooth muscle cells are called in to form the fibrous cap and surround the necrotic core. Because of the plasticity of these cells, they can become osteochondrogenic they will begin to distribute calcium throughout the necrotic core and the fibrous cap. Stage 3 of the development of atherosclerosis is progression. The necrotic core continues to grow as LDL and HDL particles penetrate in the shear stress area of the blood vessel. Macrophages are called in to endocytose oxidized LDL particles and form foam cells which die. Smooth muscle cells are then recruited to form the fibrous cap. This is a stable plaque. It is not in danger of rupturing as long as the cap is not thin. Eventually the um, plaque becomes unstable because the smooth muscle cells and macrophages cannot compensate fast enough and the fibrous cap becomes thin. There is a break in the endothelium and the blood and the lumen is exposed to the macrophages which release a number of chemotractants and um, platelet aggregating factors to begin the clotting cascade. Tissue factor activates clotting factor 10 to clotting factor 10A. 
which then acts on prothrombin to become thrombin. Thrombin then acts on fibrinogen to become fibrin. The fibrin strands interact with the platelets at the site of at the site of the break and form a thrombus to mend the rupture. This um, will eventually occlude blood flow if the inflammation and rupture continues. Causing death. Causing tissue death.